Hey guys, Gabriel from Renegade Blasters here. Today we're going to be looking at the classic put together. We'll give you a look. Let's see what it's what it's like. How can I get this out? There we go. They do pack them in tight. So nice, cool little barrel there. Rails on top and bottom. Although I'm sure you can attach them to the side also. Them well. Um, the main unit. in tight the main unit pretty light it's got I mean it's light on its own I guess uh, it's got a cool little LCD LED whatever you want to call it uh, voltmeter so that's cool uh, on and off switch no semi or full fire or auto fire or anything like that it's just on and off which is still good um, pull that back to prime and your battery in this case goes in here. It's so big it doesn't fit in the frame of the camera. So what does it come with? Well, let's have a look. You've got a bottle of already made gel balls and this one comes with all your accessories in this box. So kind of just pour them out and that's it okay so first of all it comes with a 7.4 volt lipo battery nice touch um, it will take an 11 volt no worries at all this will run on 11 volts all day long it comes with a pack of uh, gel balls maybe I think 5,000 there in this case some rail accessories and some of the, the clips and hooks for your for your strap looks like a couple other things in there you got your scope which does add to the look when you, when you put that on top it's pretty cool I mean that's pretty cool right there already changes the look of it and you've got this uh, angled forward grip which once is on you, or, you can also it also unfolds as a stand so you just put that on like that now that's kind of stuck in one position you can hold it you can shoot uh, and that's cool but it also folds down and splits so now you've got a stand and that uh, I haven't seen on many blasters. Especially cool for something that's, you know, been out for a while. So Construction-wise, it's definitely a solid unit. It's not cheap and flimsy. Uh, it is a little bit light, but the stock is still kind of solid and heavy. We'll definitely take upgrades. We'll definitely take modifications, alloy, barrels, batteries, uh, internals. We'll take them, no worries. Also come with protective sunglasses or protective glasses, safety glasses, and your battery charger. So we'll connect the battery to this thing, take it down to our range, and see how it performs. So it's very easy to fit the battery in this one. Done. If I flick it on, should see the voltmeter right now reading 7.63, 7.62. It's kind of switching between them. You can hear the uh, the primer there. So there you have it. Awesome unit. And uh, we'll get down and test it out now. 
Now in this case, um, the little flap is just there on the mag, and it's good size, easy to open, good size. I've seen some other ones that are a little bit tricky to open, especially if you're out in the, in the field playing games, and it's getting dark or something, you, you fumble around a bit. So very easy to open, very easy to load. Holds quite a few rounds because it's, it's a decent size, decent thickness. Now we'll see how that goes. Prime it first. You can hear the primer. There we go. That's ready to go now. Now we are at our makeshift uh, target or our, our range in the back, and that's our makeshift target for now until I get a proper one in. Uh, we are at 18 meters. There is the measuring stick. So 18 meters, we'll see how it goes performance wise, um, accuracy, distance. It's kind of going all over the place. All right, let's try that again. Well, something's not right with that. Sounds like the gears are going on it. 